Look who, look who joined me. Got in about midnight. She got in about midnight. I'm running on. Very little sleep. She's running on less. Courtney's driven 11 hours last night to join me this morning, so she's going to get two mornings of Wisconsin's turkey season here to round things out. I heard this turkey right here that we're fixing to go try to sit on gobble one time last yesterday evening after fly up, and if I heard him right, we'll be in a real good spot. We're hustling in here. About waited too late to win with a decision on where we were gonna go. Yeah, it's like metals, stone metals. Instead of staying on the field, I'm not sure if that's the right decision or not. The woods are extremely thick.
Find the street. Oh, are we gonna come back out there or not? We hit that up a little bit quick. Yeah, he got over it. Managed to screw that one up royally. Oh man, I knew I should have stayed in the field. I came in here this morning with intentions on, hey, that turkey's gonna be roosted on that finger out of the back of that field. The finger's extremely thick. It's gonna be impossible to kill a turkey off of it. You're gonna have to wait on him in the field. We get here, turkey gobbles on the finger exactly where he's supposed to be. And what do I do? Bail off into the freaking timber call a turkey up to God probably I don't know 30 40 yards he's gobbling and drumming and you can't see him oh well let's go try to find another one I guess so we made it out to this field edge there was a gobbler out here that was bearing to the right really quick so I had to go ahead and hit him with a call hit him with a glass call he looked at it shredded at it his hand's still bearing right big time I'm not sure what he's doing yet I can't leave my eyes back on him, but we're fixing to try.
人の前に親が働きとかあるから言いまけない、うん Too long because like, they're everywhere right now. The bad ones still just don't get long. Yeah. Okay, great. Tell me about it. I'm never in my life having that thing. Ain't that crazy? I'm gonna pick him up for you. That ground is so hard. A double spur on the side. I don't think it's his leg. He was, where he's at over there is really hard dirt. Like, yeah, extremely hard dirt. I started wobbling and I mean, that was freaking crazy. That poor little tree. That <laughs> tree weighs 900 pounds. He was right here. And that hand started coming up. I knew there was a hand involved. Oh, I thought yeah. something just happened. I just get blood on my face. Oh, 
she started coming out this way and you were waiting and I, I don't know if you couldn't hear me because of the wind or what was going on and I was like can you see him can you see him I just need him to get closer to get in the hole so that I can video well that's what I was he wondering just come in a hole yeah. that's when I said are you ready he said yeah call yeah call yeah call yeah well I was freaking I had this shot and at first when I had a good shot and you weren't ready and the hand was crossing right in front of me yeah. and uh, between me and him and obviously I'm not going to take that shot and so you were like I, that's when I started panicking and I ended up shooting like I'm talking like you, you can see I skinned the tree, skin so. the tree. <laughs> you got enough of him <laughs> right. so I came over here to this back of this field <laughs> and I've been Straight seeing some out. turkeys in the edge of this thing from the, from the road and there's a roll in the hill you can see turkeys down over the roll if you stand up on one of those berms. I was looking at them through glasses. I can see all kind of turkeys down there. But then on the right, there was, I saw a big red head come up. And then he had a hen and a jake with him down here in this right corner. Man, we'd yell at him and that joker just stared at us for like minutes on end, just staring. I, if, if I'd have been a bad woman, I would I would have been, we would have killed him. Yeah. And I just, I mean, he was so but it took those hands. I mean, because come we got in a bad out. spot because we had to yelp to him and he can see too far. Like we didn't have a roll in the hill, so he was looking directly at where the yelping was coming from. That's why he was hesitant about coming. But we had to yelp at him because they were breaking right really fast when we got here and looked at him. To him and his, what we thought was two hens ended up being a hen and a jake. But anyways, we convinced him to turn around and leave that hen and Jake because just to look at us. And then when he when he stood there for, I guess he's been staring at us for the last 15 minutes. And another hen came out of this right side and she came up here by us and that got him in trouble. Got a double spur. How, that's gotta be. Double spur and that beard. That, that beard's just in my bones out. Look at that thing. Like seriously, <clears throat> it's crazy. Really great, man. His leg, it's just not so bloody. I don't know if his head fell back against it or something, but yeah, his head was I've seen that one down. time in all my years doing this. I'm gonna take another picture of that. That's cool. <coughs> <laughs> I guess it's the worth first it. Day in Wisconsin. I know. I told you there were some turkeys over here. I know. It was worth coming. It was worth 11 hour drive. Uh, it was a long drive. A little bit of a boring drive through some stints of it, but it was worth it. Well worth it. I reckon we'll have to go find some cheese curds to celebrate with. <laughs> Courtney decided that she wasn't ready for her turkey season to be over. Yeah. And and I so. I had a hard time letting it go. So. She wiggled herself into a couple days of free time. <clears throat> and I told her with the way things were going in Wisconsin that I think she could uh, <coughs> get on one yeah. in two days time. What's next? Your call. Hey, look, I'm getting over it, okay? Probably one of cigars. It ain't got nothing to do with cigars. It's sinuses. And they cause that post-nasal drip. It's just a thing, Courtney. Do you not watch the commercials? No. Uh, when was the last time you heard somebody go, yeet, yeet? Uh, I feel like it was in Rockmart, though. <laughs> I feel like that's what you're speaking to do right there. Mm -hmm. Why would I have done that right now? I don't know. I just had that suspicion that you're to go, yeet, yeet. You know, you just do it all the time. What do you think about Wisconsin? It's nice. I feel spoiled right now. All I did was drive up here. <laughs> I pulled the trigger today. There's some days that I feel like I actually do earn my turkey, but today isn't one of them. Today, I was, it's one of those that you just kind of... You earned it at some point, maybe not today. Yeah, maybe not today. Remember those two drives of Louisiana you made? Yeah. You earn all of them. <laughs> it's not maybe not the day that you kill them. I know. I may have to find a laundry mat. Mm. What, how many more days I got? Five more days? 
No, I got another pair of pants, I think. I'll leave one of my pairs with you. You think I can fit into them? Yeah. Now that it's in the turkey season, you probably can. <laughs> you get kind of wormy. Mm. Mm. I probably have extra trunk space. Oh man, that's fun. <clears throat> you gonna light it? I'm gonna light it. I'm just thinking about how this awesome it's gonna taste. Hmm. You fall asleep. Hmm. How did I know that that was gonna bless the train? Like every time. It's like the filet mignon of smokes. Mmm. Tasty. So this morning started out at midnight when I arrived at the hotel. They booked the hotel. Because she's going to be late for her wedding. I mean, she's going to be late for her funeral. She never have a wedding. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, don't even put that evil on me. But I got there at midnight. And we're saying that this She's been place. asking me for years, y'all. But I'm just not ready for it not at that point in my life. No. Um, anyway, we go, we get, I go get in bed, and these two guys start cussing and screaming at 12 in the morning. And we're just trying to sleep, you know, because we got to be up at three to go kill And there a was a woman involved, too. Was there a woman? Yeah. There I was some domestic violence going on. Dave said he witnessed them drinking fireball before yeah. he went to bed. So. They were out in front just hanging out, drinking fireball. That's an alcohol advisory warning. Don't drink fireball and cuss. So see what happens. My sleep was interrupted when I get a flipping room. Mm -hmm. If I slept in the back of my truck, I'd have been sawing logs. Yep. I took the first shower I've taken since May the 15th last night, so that was pretty good. Disgusting. I mean, it, 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 the water turned brown. We get up, we go sit in the car for an hour because Dave isn't sure where he wants to go. We come out here, and the first turkey gave us the slip. So anyhow, the gobbler fell off this way. Courtney says, where are we going? She didn't know I've been eyeballing two more gobblers on the other side of this chunk of this timber he chunk here. He did good. Here. He was a good guide this time around. What am I not a good guide? You have a bad attitude sometimes. You're slow and late. I was on time today, and I was plenty fast enough. There was a couple times you weren't fast enough. So, we got over to that field where I've been seeing them gobblers in, and I got up on this little berm, and I stood on my tippy toes, and I could saw an old head come up and go down. I thought, uh-oh. I put my binos on it. It was his head. Wasn't there two hens that came on, up when on he came On over the hill. Yeah, where he was at, all I saw was his head, and he ended up having a hen and a jake with him okay. at the moment that we engaged. Yeah. On the other side of the hill, on um, the other side of the field, now when we say the other side of the field, we're talking 500 yards, 600 mm -hmm. yards. There was a pile of other turkeys. We started yelping at him. He thought we sounded nice. Suddenly, after probably, what, 10 minutes standing out there just staring at us and taking a step toward us here and there and whatever, he just started strutting all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Head turned white. I said, another hen must have just come out in the woods. I come out of the woods, and sure enough. What turned off? Huh? I do just heard a turn go from that direction. I didn't hear it. Okay. Yeah. Sure enough, a hen had come out of the woods there, and <clears throat> she started coming up to the top of the hill toward us and drug him right in there. I never saw her until after she shot. But yeah, I just she knew. comes up and I, could, I thought I, I, was, I, heard, I, I thought I heard you him. say. 
And I was talking to you. I was trying to make sure I didn't even. There, I mean, he kept giving me opportunities <coughs> to shoot with his head up and stuff. But you were. I was making sure you had him on video. And yeah. I, I usually ain't like that. But I knew you had a good chance to have good video with this one. Mm -hmm. And so I started being like, Can you see him? Can you see him? You got him. You got him. And I just don't know if you couldn't hear me or what. And then. I thought I heard you say something about the hen is really close. or. And something. then I did. The, the hen started getting oh. closer and closer. I was like, oh, the hen's going to bust us. And then she comes in, and I, I have like this much. There's a tree here. He's here, and she's here. She starts speeding up as they both are moving this way. And so it was almost as if like I was going to have to take the shot right after she got out of the way, or I was he was going to be gone behind the tree. And so I finally, that worked out like that, and I took out half the tree, so, <laughs> and the turkey. So. It worked out.